should I start shopping for homeowner's insurance and when does the policy need to go into effect? Welcome back to another episode of Fridays with the Fiddle Fig where we cover common questions, misconceptions, and myths about real estate. I'm John Selby with the Selby team and you'll notice we're out in the field today with one of the biggest trees in all the neighborhood. Uh, our house is under construction so we were not able to film in our normal location. Hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. Homeowners insurance is a topic that comes up with my clients on a regular basis and they're always curious about when should they start looking for homeowners insurance and especially when should the policy go in place because nobody wants to start paying for a policy when they don't even own the house yet. There are really two steps to shopping for your homeowners policy. I would say the first step you want to take prior to even looking for houses or maybe when we're out looking for property together, just start thinking about a company that you want to use. Maybe it's a company that you use for renter's insurance or maybe it's a company you use for your car insurance. But that's definitely a, a big start. You start that right away. You can start that almost at any time. The second step to it would be actually shopping for a policy for a specific house. And you're gonna to wanna to do this right when you get into escrow. As soon as you get escrow documents signed and agreed upon, start shopping for a homeowner's insurance policy at that time. Once you've picked a company for your homeowner's insurance, the lender is gonna want a policy estimate so that they can base all of their closing numbers off of that estimate. The next step is gonna be then enacting the policy. And you're not gonna be able to close on a house without an active insurance policy on it. So the lender is gonna want that done for the day or day before we actually close escrow. So it's important that you actually not only get the estimate, but you actually enact the policy for a day before or the day of closing, whatever the lender prefers at that point. There are so many steps to buying a home and insurance is only one of those steps. And it's up to your realtor to really help keep you on track with that. We also have many insurance vendors that we work with, so we'd be happy to recommend a good one to you if you don't already have one. Just reach out to us, let us know, and we'd be happy to make that recommendation. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Fridays with the Fiddle Fig out in the field. Fiddle Fig in the field. <laughs> we'll see you next week. And as always, leave us a comment if you want a, a topic covered. Mm -hmm.